so another day another gamigo video i know i know guys but unfortunately this one's not going to be about our favorite gamigo topic which is arcade and arcade unchained this one is just about them closing not one not two not three but four mmrpgs in a single day so eden eternal twin saga defiance and defiance 2050 they're the four mmrpg titles that they're all shutting down on the exact same day april 29th 2021 so they've obviously gone through their roster of games obviously gamigo as a publishing company owns try on worlds they own area games and then a bunch of other games that are under the actual gamigo uh, umbrella so this is the four games that they're closing down all of the closing all of the closing statements are pretty much the same so we'll just go over the defiance one uh, and the key details not the fluff that they're like oh we're so appreciative of the eight years that we've spent together blah 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 uh, this decision was not an easy one to make. We concluded that both games could no longer sustain themselves and we can apply that to all four. While we are discontinuing the game service, we will never forget the incredible journey we embarked upon together. It is never easy to announce the shutdown of any game, knowing how much time and effort we have all put into making Defiance, Defiance 2050, Eden Eternal, Twin Saga enjoyable for many years. As of today, all cash purchases will be disabled. Bits already purchased before February 24th, 2021 will still be usable until the end of service. I hate that companies do this. I fucking hate it. Um, if you're closing a game down, you knew you were closing this game down or thinking about closing it down for months. And you've basically let people buy things in this game and then just gone, uh, shutting down. Uh, you can't buy anything today. Arbitrarily, this is the limit. This is today. You can't buy anything. But before today you could have bought you know tons of cash up currency but it's it's kind of worthless now because our game's going to be dead no refunds we're not giving you money back if you bought within the last couple of weeks the last couple of months just flat out you can't buy it after today but this one has an extra layer to it because gamigo always do things in like the most backwards way you've ever seen it's like they're just they're just not capable of comprehending what a normal logical conclusion would be to a situation so the additional layer to this is the following content will be available 95% discount on all in-game items sold for bits in the Defiance store. Every one to two weeks, we will hold a server event for Defiance and Defiance 2050. Server boosts for skill, reputation, and experience points will be active and item giveaways. Now, the key part here is the 95% discount on all items sold for bits. So the people who did buy the cash shop currency can then buy items in the cash shop for 95% off but the other people who perhaps would want to spend like a couple dollars and get like crazy value for 95 percent off and just enjoy the last month month two months of the game um yeah two two three months of the game instead of doing that you've just like i say set an arbitrary limit of oh you can't buy stuff after today it's closed but if you did enjoy all this stuff 95 percent discount on everything if you didn't and you're a current player just get fucked basically um and they've done this for all of their games. All of them read exactly the same 95% discounts on Eden Eternal, Twin Saga, both the Defiance games. And then they do the good old, if you're wondering what to play next, now that we're shutting down the games that you like, that you are playing, why don't you come and play Trove? And if you use this code, specifically for people who have, have basically been made uh, homeless in the MMORPG world, if you use this code, then you can get some extra items in Trove or Desert Operations or Arcade or Arcade Unchained. Here's all these codes. Uh, but don't worry. Don't worry because they're, they are giving you something. They're giving you something back. Also, players of Defiance and Defiance 2050 can expect gifts to specific games from Gamigo's portfolio in a follow-up newsletter. So don't worry. We close down the game that you like, but go play one of these other games that will definitely not close down in the exact same way if, if we're not getting enough money. And obviously, I'm not saying forever run a game that's not making money etc if it's not making sense financially of course they need to close the games down i just think the way in which they do it and then like the the um tone deafness of just saying oh you know if you like this game it's gone but you can still play our other games it's it's just a little bit funny uh, so to sweeten the moment our loyal spenders this sounds like you're getting into like scientology or something are you a gamigo loyal spender I know I am. We'll receive extra rewards for all bits purchases. We will award 100% of bits that you have spent in the last 60 days or 200% of bits that you've spent within the last 30 days to your preferred game from Gamigo's portfolio. 
you'll receive your bits in the form of the virtual currency of that game. Please send a request to our custom support to transfer your bits to your new chosen game of choice. Now, just a couple things real quick, because I'm not going to make this video very long. Um, that's cool in a way that they're doing that. But again, it it's not really, it, it's not a sweeten of, of the moment, a game's closing that people, obviously there's not going to be a lot of people that are upset about this, but the people that are, I don't think they really give a fuck about playing your other games, to be honest. And when you start saying things like, oh, here's a formula, you can get 100% of bits, 200% of bits, and you can t trade them to your other game via our customer service if you guys ever contacted gamigo customer service i have and i did it while also having a representative of gamigo on my skype and messaging him getting them to to look into my skype uh, to look into my uh, tickets and it still took me three weeks to get a ticket resolved and they literally just sent me a, a pre like made message back that didn't even address what i was talking about to the point where I eventually just said, fuck it, I'll just lose the items. I just I just can't be bothered anymore. It's a waste of time. So the expectation that you're going to be able to contact Gamigo and in any kind of like reasonable amount of time get, you know, potentially hundreds or thousands of people, their currency move from one game to another. This company has one of the most incompetent customer services I've ever seen. So I, I guess good luck with that one is what I can say. So it's all the same across all four games. Obviously, again, I do feel like I need to make the, the distinction and the caveat that games that aren't making money absolutely need to be shut down. They're not running a charity. But at the end of the day, there's good ways to do this. Well, th there's never a good way to do it. I, I shouldn't put it that way. There's less egregious ways to do this and less tone-deaf ways to do this. And then there's Gamigo's approach and most of these companies. What did we have recently that shut down? Um, Soul Worker, where they basically just said... Game shutting down, if you bought anything before now, unlucky, just like Gamigo have done. But they didn't do any sales or anything. They just said, yeah, sorry. Uh, thanks thanks for the patronage. Play our other games. See ya. I do feel bad for anyone that's involved in one of their favorite games shutting down. I know we can all relate. We've all been there. Um, just think about any MMO that you really loved that maybe objectively wasn't very good, objectively wasn't very successful, but you still loved it. You still put a bunch of time into it. And then that day came when the game closed down and you're on on the last day of the server. And it's just, it feels bad, man. It feels real bad. And I'm sure we can all relate if we're in the MMO genre, because let's be honest, a lot of games in this genre do close down eventually. And yeah, I'm sure no, nothing anyone can say will make them feel better. But, you know, at least at least you're not playing a Gamigo game anymore. I suppose there's always a silver lining, I guess. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I have a Patreon in the, in the description. You can click that link, throw me some change and that you'll get your name in the end of the video. That's pretty much the only thing you'll get for it. Other than the warm, fuzzy feeling of supporting your favorite content creator. And there is also a NordVPN link. It's an affiliate link. You click it. It tracks back to me. Um, I get a dis I get a kickback of what you spend. You get a 70% discount. Win-win all in all. And yeah, come check out my Twitch channel. We're going to be streaming some Outriders, the demo that came out today. And if you're watching this in the future, we'll be streaming something else, possibly. Check out the Discord and see you on the next one. Stay safe out there. We're out. Peace. Thank you.